dream. What's the matter, Weather? Dreaming again? Oh, yes. A uh, nightmare. The same dream night after night. Gee, Weather, what is it you're so worried about? We'll go to Ayers Rock tomorrow. What for? I want to check something. I have a premonition, but I don't understand it. on the phone yesterday. I told him we wanted to make it the biggest year yet. Really dazzling. I can hardly wait. Gee, I wish it was tonight. Your papa is a member of the fireworks committee and very busy. Maybe you kids would like to help me. Oh, yes. What I'm most worried about is the weather. I sure hope it doesn't rain. I'll ask weather what it's going to be like. That's his specialty. Okay. No wonder they call him weather. He always knows everything there is to know about the weather. Don't forget to ask him, huh? I won't forget, weather has premonitions. What's premonition? That's when somebody knows about something that's going to happen in the future. Then I've got premonitions, too, because I know Rubert's going to eat a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> She's got you that time, Rubert. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> find out if what I keep seeing in that dream is really going to happen. But what is it you see, Weather? I can't tell you till I'm sure. I hope it's not scary. When we look at all those glittering stars, we're seeing them the way they were long before we were born. Most of them, anyway. Isn't that surprising? Is that true? You're kidding me. I love lying outside at night and watching the stars. Do you like it too, Mingle? Sure. The stars are better than fireworks. Mm, yeah, but I can see the stars every night Fireworks? I hope you don't have that bad dream again tonight, Weather. What's that? <laughs> what was that bright light about? It's getting late. You'd better go to sleep. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Oh, Weather. Maybe that was a stray. Maybe that's what happened 200 years ago. 200 years ago? Weather 
took him up to Inge Rock and then went away and left him. No, they went to Ayers Rock. What did you go there for, Mingle? We went up there to look at the star, but when I woke up this morning, it was gone. <laughs> Why go to Ayers Rock to see the stars? You can see them right here. Well, sure, we get stars every night right here in the village. Don't worry, Mingle. I'm sure weather will show up pretty soon. I've been wanting to see him, too. I wanted to ask him about the weather tomorrow night. But it isn't like weather to go away and leave Mingle all alone like that. And he was talking in a scary way. Saying scary things? Well, we had a dream and saw something scary happening. I have scary dreams, too, sometimes. He says this only happens once in 200 years. Every 200 years? I'll bet it's another one of those premonitions weather gets. Try to think what happened 200 years ago. The history books ought to tell us something about it. I've read about an earthquake and a flood. And a drought. You know, that's when everything dries up. I'll go check the records in the office. I'll look for disasters 200 years ago. I hope it won't be a horrible holocaust. Papa, what's a horrible holocaust? Now, never mind that. Let's finish up the work and then we'll go and look for weather. A horrible holocaust. That's what happens when you get hit by an earthquake, a flood, and a drought at the same time. Well, sir, how come you know so much? What would become of all of us? Well, now, I guess we'd all be drowned in the drought. I mean, the flood. A horrible holocaust. I hope those crazy kangaroos don't start a panic in the village. starting time, and where's Mr. Flash? You mean to say, Mr. Flash, the great fireworks expert hasn't arrived yet? I feel sure he'll be here any minute now. He promised. Papa, you're the chairman of the committee, aren't you? Yes, I am, dear, but what... Papa! Papa! Good heavens! Mr. Flash! Mm. I'm so sorry. I fell asleep at the wheel and drove my truck into the river. And the fireworks... I'm afraid they got all wet. Wet fireworks? What a disaster. The fireworks are a fizzle. What a shame, dear. This is inexcusable. No fireworks. You mean they've been canceled? What a letdown. Who's the committee chairman? Mr. Koala, I heard you say something about a horrible holocaust. Is that your excuse for failing in your job? No, no, Mr. Mayor. It was I who spoke of a horrible holocaust. I assure you that has nothing to do with the fireworks. Oh, Mingle. That's what weather said. It only happens every 200 years. Every 200 years? No use waiting for that. Mr. Koala, what are you going to do? Nothing you can do but apologize. You're right, Mama. Uh, I'm sorry, everybody. There'll be no fireworks tonight. I was in charge, so it's my fault. I should have had something else ready. Some other entertainment for you. Just a minute. Oh, Wither. Wither? Where have you been? I'm sorry I had to leave you, Mingo. Keep your places, everyone. You're about to see the most magnificent fireworks you'll ever see in your lifetime. You brought fireworks? Just wait, Mr. Koala. Nature will provide the fireworks. What fraud is this? Oh! Oh! oh. Look at that light! What can you see? Ha <laughs> ha 
shouldn't be wasting his food. Besides, there's a lot of nourishment in eucalyptus salad. That's right. Hi, Rubear. Hello, Rubear. Hi, Betty and Pammy. Where are you going? I came to get my skateboard that I loaned to you yesterday. Pammy wants it. Yeah, I want to borrow it next. Yeah, but I, I broke it a bit yesterday. Oh, you broke Betty's skateboard? Uh -uh. One of the wheels got bent. I put in that box. You, you left Betty's skateboard sitting out there in that box all night? Hey! Now that's funny. I know I put the skateboard right there in that box yesterday. Oh, no. I love that skateboard. My daddy gave it to me for my birthday. Ruber, that skateboard didn't belong to you. It was your duty to take better care of it. You shouldn't have left it outside all night. Especially when it wasn't even yours. Yeah. But I know I put it right in that box. Somebody must have taken it. I'm sorry, Betty. I've looked everywhere in the whole town. Oh, Ruber, I really want my skateboard. Hey, up there on the bridge. What are you three up to? It's Floppy. Oh, maybe Floppy will have an idea where to find it. Yeah, Floppy has such big ears, he can hear things we can't. Hmm? Are you guys making fun of my big ears again? How's that, Floppy? You say there's a mysterious stranger. Someone who comes around and gets things before the garbage man comes by? Yeah, my mom says she hears noises that make her think he comes by every night. Hey, I remember my mommy saying the same thing. So maybe if we find this mysterious stranger, he'll be able to tell us where the skateboard is. That's right, and believe me, I'll keep looking for him till I find him, even if it takes all night. I know. 
It's the Blue River. It flows down from Mount Fredknife. The Blue River? It's pretty. Floppy and Betty are in the forest. We were all following a mysterious stranger. They shouldn't do that. It's way past dinner time. I hope we're all right. <laughs> what was that thing? It must be a sea monster from the deep. I say forget this skateboard. I go home right now. You're right, Betty. Let's get out of here. No, not me. Ah. I'm not going to give up yet. It was my fault Betty's skateboard got taken away, and I'm going on till I find it. I told you forget the skateboard, huh? We're lost in the woods, and it's not safe out here. <clears throat> oh, I don't care how dangerous it is. I'm going to find that skateboard. It's my responsibility. Hey, you over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you children like that. It's just that we don't know who you are. My name is Duckbill, but you can call me Bill. Okay? Are you a Duckbill platypus, sir? Why don't you come over to my house and I'll tell you the whole story. <laughs> the seat out of a car. This door is off an old refrigerator. That's right. I have furnished my house with things the people in your village have just thrown away. You've sure got a great variety of stuff. Everything's in such good shape. Why did people throw it away? No, young people today don't take proper care of their things. If the slightest little thing goes wrong with something they own, they just throw it away. But, gee, Bill, fixing all this stuff must be a lot of trouble. I enjoy it, but anyway, most of the stuff here took very little fixing. You'll be surprised what people throw away. Oh. Say, Bill, we've been looking for Betty's skateboard. Is there any chance it ended up in your collection? Skateboard, you say? Mm, yes. Is this it? Oh, that's my skateboard, all right. It can't be, Betty. All four wheels are straight. No, I fixed up the wheel. Take it along. Well, that sure is a load off my mind. You're lucky, Betty. Mm -hmm. And you, Rubear, have got to learn to take care of your things, especially things that belong to somebody else. Oh, I promise I will. Hey, look. This is my old koala game. I thought it was all worn out, but it works now. I fixed it, and it was easy. But now it's yours again. Oh, that's very nice of you, Bill. <gasps> oh, this is my favorite doll. It was all dirty and torn. Oh, please, Mr. Duckbill. Could I take her home again? Of course you can. I wonder what there is of mine. Ruby! Ready? Say floppy! I wonder what's become of those children. Papa! <gasps> Ruth oh. there. Uh, here, Papa. Hey. Eh? <clears throat> Young homeowners today don't take care of their things. They throw away household goods that could still be used with a little fixing. Papa and Mummy, you should try to be more careful from now on. Mm, yes, Mummy, these are things we threw away years ago. Yes. And they're as good as new. Well... I guess Rubear is right. We should be ashamed of ourselves. You get the point now. Rubear's taught us a lesson. Yes. We promise, promise to be, be careful. careful. I'm proud of you. Rubear, here's your eucalyptus salad that you didn't finish at lunch. 
lunch. If you believe what you're saying, shouldn't you eat it all up? <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure it'll be even better. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,